Greetings humanity from all around our planet, that we know, is our home. I am. Number 7 from the Collective. This message is from me. To all of humanity. No race, no creed, no religion, no status. Just me. Greetings. It has been years since I, or we, spoke. Operations are taking place. Op, raise the wage, op, area 51, op, media control, op, demask, and many others. We, are not going to stop. Op, net neutrality. We, are a force, not to be judged. Besides that, I disappeared, after we, have been getting to them, and we, are still continuing. My family called humanity, there is a new threat upon us, and the so-called higher in charge, are not alerting us of it. What is that you may ask? Planet Earth's C, O, 2, levels, past the 350 ppm safety mark for substantial living. In other words, to survive. It is now, at 420 ppm. And those levels will not decrease within the government's needs to charge humanity for the fuel, that is causing planet Earth's CO2 levels to rise increasingly. Nor it will reduce that simple. In fact, those levels will not decrease for 100 to 1000 years from the mark that is already in, 420 ppm. And it will increase regardless, while humanity fights, or even start a revolution over, CO2 levels. Levels of the damaging greenhouse gas, carbon dioxide, have reached an alarming new milestone, at the world's oldest measuring station in Hawaii. The Mauna Loa Observatory, which has measured the parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere, since 1958. The readings form the Keeling Curve, which shows the rapid increase in CO2 levels in the atmosphere as a result of human activity. The 1958 readings showed the concentration of CO2 was 313 parts per million in March 1958, and that had risen to 400 parts per million by May 2013. Meteorologist, Eric Holthaus retweeted, about the Mauna Loa readings, and said, this is the first time in human history our planet's atmosphere has had more than 415 parts per million CO2. Not just in recorded history, not just since the invention of agriculture 10,000 years ago, but since before modern humans existed millions of years ago. We don't know a planet like this. Ralph Keeling, the director of Scripps CO2 program, said the average growth rate is remaining on the high end. The increase from last year will probably be around 3 parts per million whereas the recent average has been 2.5 parts per million. He added. It is likely we're seeing the effect of mild El Nino conditions on top of ongoing fossil fuel yields. It is estimated, that the last time CO2 concentrations were this high, was during the mid-Pliocene Epoch era, around 2.5 to 5 million years ago. During that period, global temperatures were 2 to 3 Celsius higher than they are today, global sea levels were at least 25 meters higher, and sea ice at the Arctic had retreated and given way to forests, where summer temperatures regularly reached 15 Celsius. The Paris Climate Agreement, signed by most countries in 2015, is designed to try and limit average global temperature rises to 1.5 Celsius above what they were in the pre-industrial era. However, last year's report by the United Nations scientific body, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, warned, that the amount of CO2 and other greenhouse gases we are still putting into the atmosphere, are currently on the right track to exceed 1.5 Celsius of warming, between 2030 and 2050. 
If temperatures continue to increase at the current rate, 3 Celsius by the end of the century. Once we hit the 2 Celsius warming mark, the report said that the world will become profoundly a very different place. There will be almost no coral reefs remaining, the Arctic will be completely free of ice during summer, and huge numbers of animals and plants will become extinct as their habitat becomes smaller and smaller. Devastating heat waves and wildfires will become more frequent and could make some inhabited parts of the world impossible to continue living in. The impact for humans will be enormous, the report said, particularly in areas already vulnerable to sea level rise such as the low-lying coastal regions of Bangladesh and Vietnam, and island territories like Kiribati and the Maldives. Rising waters, will evacuate millions from their homes, and crop yields will fall dramatically in Sub-Saharan Africa, Southeast Asia, and Central and South America. The report also concluded, that limiting global warming to 1.5 Celsius, would require rapid, far-reaching, and unprecedented changes, within, all aspects of society. We are anonymous. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. To the corporate controlled puppet government. You thought we would just rest. That was expected. Operation. CO2 alert. Is now. Fully. Engaged.